Welcome to the Get Stoked Podcast with Paul Stokes. Life lessons learned on the water that you can apply to everyday life. Now, here's Paul. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, Thanks for tuning in to the Get Stoked Podcast. Life lessons learned on the water that you can apply to everyday life. And today's lesson is actually on the dry land. Um, After sharing episode one uh, about my goals at Footstock, uh, several people have said, hey, what are you doing in the gym? Uh, A few people asked what I'm doing on the water, and the answer is nothing yet. It's still a couple feet of ice on our water. Um, But I will be sharing what I'm doing on the water training as well. So episode 1.5, I wanted to share with you um, the workout that I'm doing. So um, this is my friend Corey Digman from Digman Fitness. Um, Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. So Corey is writing workouts for me um, to do it actually at my own gym. And at the end of the video, we'll share a little bit about how um, you can get Corey to write workouts for you. But uh, so what I'm doing is I'm, besides some of the other cardio and other activities I'm doing, my core workouts are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. And on Mondays, I do, well actually all days, I do an eight station circuit. So I have eight stations that I'm going through. And on Monday, or actually, yeah, Monday I do 35 seconds of work and then 15 seconds rest. And then 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, all the way through the eight stations. And then I take one minute off rest. And um, if you're working hard, you need that minute rest. And then I go through the eight stations five times. And then on Wednesday, I do 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. On Friday, I do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And I'd be tracking a little better if Corey had his way. Uh, But one of the things we watch is the heart rate at the end of the eight stations, you know, check in with your heart rate. My target is like 160 to 170 beats per second. Um, And I'm working kind of in that zone. Um, so anyway, these eight stations can be really any um, exercise that you want. Um, I like he, he uh, Corey writes a new workout for me every month. So every month it switches it up for me. I find that really important to keep me engaged. It keeps it interesting. Um, I don't get bored. Um, about the time I feel like I've mastered the eight exercises and I'm getting really strong on them. Next thing you know it gets switched up so it's something new so you can have any eight exercises you want that's just a nice little simple system um, to run through a good quality workout and uh, Corey tell me a little bit about how you're designing these workouts specifically um, with me having footstock in mind yeah for sure the um, I guess we can get really specific with folks that uh, importantly, finding out what you need to work on as far as uh, mobility and if there's any issues with uh, uh, things that I want to point out with the screen first, uh, but we can obviously mix it up with him. Uh, things that are specific to his sport, obviously, is grip, uh, endurance. When you're on the water for that long, you're going to fatigue in your legs, especially your lower back and your grip. So it's going to be a lot of training related to the grip, a lot of uh, training related to lower body. That's why also the, the intervals make sense. Uh, kind of like a higher work versus rest ratio and um, another uh, component that's important too is the obviously nutrition and the and the mobility work and the uh, recovery uh, at the end of your workout too which we can cover uh, if you guys are interested in the program yeah yeah so what I thought I'd do is I actually did a time lapse of my February workout so it happens quick it's only over about 30 seconds we're gonna show you the time lapse of my workout and uh, check it out and uh, we'll be back to chat with you more after you check out this workout.
what'd you think? Um, you know, it's not that complicated. Um, you know, it's not these crazy athletes you see that are just really getting it done and powering through some amazing exercises. It's just eight exercises that are core to the muscle groups that I'm trying to develop and really overall total body workouts. And like I said, you can have any eight exercises you want. If you want to do this type of exercise um, routine on your own, you just pick eight exercises and then do those, go through five times on the intervals that I spoke about. I use an app, it's called Interval Timer or something like this. Um, there's different apps and you can set it up. Ours dings like a, the start of a boxing match uh, round, it dings and then when the 35 seconds is up it goes and then 15 seconds later it goes ding. So you don't have to look at a clock. Um, I switch them out once a month, so the first week or two, I'm having to constantly look at the sheet, what's next, what's next, but that's all I worry about. And then after a couple of weeks, you have the eight exercises memorized. Some people might be faster than that, right? Mm -hmm. It takes me a little while because my mind's running on other things. But So I motivate you to consider this as a workout you can do at home or at your gym with minimal equipment. Um, if it helps you get moving and helps you get a, a routine that keeps you engaged because it switches up a little bit, you know, that's my hope is that um, this motivates someone to put together a simple routine. Now, if you'd like to do the footstock workouts that I'm doing that Corey has designed for me, Corey's going to do a special for 20 bucks. He will forward you the spreadsheet that he's sending to me. And then you can get a 10-minute Skype conversation with him, maybe through Facebook Messenger or on Skype or on FaceTime if you're iPhones. And he will run you through the exercises, make sure you understand what exercises um, are, how to properly do them using proper technique. Um, and that's a special that Corey from Digman Fitness has offered foot stalkers or water ski athletes or anyone that wants to follow along and do the workouts that I'm doing. Um, if you'd like, if you have completely separate goals, maybe it's weight loss, maybe it's um, you're a triathlete, maybe you're a wrestler, um, he can design programs for you. That involves more than this special, so connect with Corey um, if you think he can help you. Mm -hmm. And. Um, that's it. So I wanted to share my workout that I'm doing. Um, I hope you get some value out of that. I hope it motivates at least one person to continue working towards their fitness goals. And no secrets um, about my goal and what I'm doing to get there. And uh, I don't know, winter circle, baby. Yeah, let's get it. So uh, anything you'd like to add, Corey? No, it's uh, you explain it all. We'd uh, anything you guys want to do to uh, improve. Uh, we obviously want to get specific with workouts depending on your goals. Yeah. So if you're if you're an athlete in uh, in football, the training energy system is different than if you're playing volleyball. And then if the same thing for uh, barefoot water skiing versus uh, table tennis. I mean, we should <laughs> table do we should train uh, in general to improve fitness and uh, improve our quality of life. By hitting the main muscle groups, but uh, depending on your system that you want to, that you're working through within your sport, you need to get specific. So, awesome. Know. Well, we'll have links uh, in the messages, or at least in the uh, comments. There'll be ways to connect with Corey. I recommend following Corey and connecting with Corey. See if he can help you. He brings a lot of value. Just if you're not doing business with him, he posts a lot of good content, and so connect with him and. Uh, pretty excited. The guest, our next guest on episode two is Tony Claridge, the best hot dog freestyle skier in the world. He can ski on anything. He has for decades. He's uh, getting an award of, an ex of distinction in the Hall of Fame in April. Um, so I am so stoked and we've already recorded the episode. You're really going to like it. The uh, topic is you have to surround yourself with good people. So um, look forward to episode two coming up. 
We'll see you there. Thanks for listening to the Get Stoked podcast with Paul Stokes. You can contact Paul at ontheballpaul.com. We look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, stay stoked.